You are in a position to claim truth, probably about lots of things. You're just saying, I want to keep this idea that science hasn't revealed the truth, which is, you're just a psychology, okay? A completely fuck-nutted, addicted Looney Tune who's chasing a something that just doesn't exist. You're chasing happily ever after, and it doesn't exist. You're heading for a brick wall, a bloody mess. If you get any satisfaction or real comfort in life, it's going to be momentary, and it's not going to last. And that's the way it is. It's just stupid. Look back on your life and say, well, what would you pay to redo any of that? Come on. We're chasing better, okay? That's why science exists. It's not running from religion. It's not fighting religion. It's looking for something to hold on to, something to say, well, look, we're going to get rid of this disease shit. Let's get rid of this hunger shit. Let's fix a problem somewhere. And they just treat symptoms, unfortunately. We're more in the Band-Aid business than we are in the penicillin business, however you want to metaphor it, and that's what science is stuck in. And science is owned by capitalists, so yeah, they don't have any imagination, so we really don't go for the big deal, the big finish, the big let's do it right one time and just get over with. No, none of that should happen, so we keep doing it the wrong way, the sloppy way, the shortcut way, the tacky plastic way. And yeah, I agree that's dumb, but that's not the problem. Okay, the problem with life isn't scientists, The problem with life isn't religious people. The problem with life is this life is stupid. It's a stupid chase. Everything about us only exists because a cell acquired the capacity to reproduce and then evolved for four billion years. Evolved through basically a a carnage of competition. Fitness was defined by a silly definition. Yeah, the other guy's dead. That's the definition of fitness. The other guy's dead. We're a psychology, we're little need machines chasing our fucking potato chips, whatever metaphor fits for you. And that's all there is here, shithead, there ain't nothing else. We've been contrived to run a race for which there is no purpose in running. To survive for the sake of surviving. We're the thing that comes out of four billion years of running a stupid wheel. The universe is a bunch of cold, hard, nasty physics. There isn't anything soft and fluffy out there. And if there is anything soft and fluffy, it's in just as big a fucking bucket of shit as you are. You're not going to be able to help it, and it ain't going to help you. It's not science's fault human beings are motherfucking greedy and selfish assholes. And that every bit of technology you give them, they use it and abuse it and suck it dry, all right? The fact that scientists figured out how to make gasoline out of crude oil isn't, isn't, isn't a crime. The fact that human beings can't moderate their consumption is the crime. We, we've discovered that human beings are absolutely full of shit. They'll find a god anywhere, anywhere. Anywhere there's a little bit of fog or a little bit of doubt or a little bit of mud and they'll say, I saw God in it. They see it on their cheeseburgers and their waffles. They see they see it all over the fucking place because they're looking for it. They're looking for something. Magic. All right? There isn't any. Sorry. Okay? There is no real magic. There's just, you know, a hundred or so elements and some forces like gravity and strong and weak nuclear forces and a gazillion, gazillion, gazillion little pieces of stuff moving, okay, for no reason, just because it was caused to move. And this is how it all ricochets, and we're just the fucking ricochet. We're just the, the, the chip that flies off the rock, you know, on the misfire. There's nothing here. There's nothing here to do. It's all goddamn bullshit. And the more we talk about these phantasmagorical possibilities, the more we delay getting real and recognizing we've only had nu- we've had nuclear weapons less than a hundred years. We have absolutely no prospect of ending this violence that we use as a solution to problems. This is a this is a disaster waiting to happen. And if there's any if we have anything to cling to, it is if there's any hope at all. The only hope. The only desperate hope we have is that we can somehow convince the human race to gracefully get off the stage before it completely humiliates itself.